What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chi World back at y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to the channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe. Make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make a cartoon head. And before we jump right into it, I'm gonna go ahead and let y'all know I already know your boy been missing. But what I've been doing is working on music. I've been recording every day. You know what I'm saying? I'm getting ready to drop a lot of projects this whole year. Starting this summer, I'm going to be hitting them hard. You know what I'm saying? So I've been recording music every day because I'm very passionate about the music. You know what I'm saying? Trying to, same way I got my art career. And it took off for me because I put a lot of work into it. That's the same thing I'm doing with my music now. So I'm putting a lot of, I'm giving it a lot of attention, you know what I'm saying? So, but I'm still not leaving art. So don't think just because y'all don't see me a lot, I'm going to just quit this. Nah, I'm going to do art forever. But the music needs some attention until we get it where it need to be. If you want to check out my music right now, all you got to do is go to Spotify, man, or iTunes. It's on all streaming platforms. Just type in Chi World, and I will be flooding it soon. So go ahead and be... Go ahead and get on the curve right now, man. Be one of my day ones, one of the day one supporters, man, before all the music come, because I'm telling you, I got some heat coming. But let's go ahead and jump right into this art video. First thing I'm going to do, we're going to drag and drop our picture. I'm going to draw that boy Floyd, one of my favorite boxers. You know what I'm saying? Not just because of what he do in the rain, you know what I'm saying? He handled his business inside the rain. And he a goddamn hustler, man. He, man. he just handled his business all around, you know what I'm saying? So I respect the man. So what I like to do first, I like to drop the opacity down so I can see my line work sit on top of the picture. I thought I'd get it like right where I like it. I lock that layer, come down here to create new layer. Then I go to my brush. My paintbrush, after you go to your paintbrush. Now, I'm using a um, a Wacom Cintiq, and this is what I'm um, drawing with. You know what I'm saying? So, to be able to get you the pressure options y'all be seeing me do with my lines, you got to have you a digital art tablet to be able to use pressure. Pressure is when you're pressing down hard or you're pressing down light. And that's how I get the effect with my art brushes. You know what I'm saying? So let me go ahead and set my brush. But you got to have a digital art tablet to be able to get this option. Let me go to new brush. And I hit OK. I go to pressure. Change this to three. And I change that number to three right there. Then after I do that, we got our brush, you feel me? Let me change this color to black, you feel me? So, now let's zoom in on our picture. Most of the time, I start either with the nose or the eyes. We gonna start with the nose. As y'all can see, this picture is very pixelated. And I'm telling y'all, man, you need to invest in, into you like a digital art tablet because it just make doing digital art more fun. You know what I'm saying? I promise you, you will have a whole different love for it with a digital art tablet. Because everything will be so you'll be faster and more efficient with creating nice lines and stuff like that. So. And this ain't gonna be the greatest cartoon head because you know what I'm saying this is just for learning purposes. So I need to, I, I should, I'm probably gonna name this video like for beginners, you know what I'm saying? So what I do is I go through, make all my lines, make some clean lines, make sure. You see how I make sure these lines are closed off? I do that so we won't have no problem at the end when it's time to do all the color effects. When it's time to like 
fill in colors and stuff like that. You won't have no problem. So you gotta make sure you ain't leaving no gaps in the in between your lines so you won't have no problem. So I make sure all my lines connect. You feel me? And it's a technique to get these lines just like I said I'm using pressure and I'm pressing hard in some areas then I'm pressing light to get the sharp points I'm pressing light I'm pressing light and I press hard then I end it with a light pressure just to get me that effect you feel me something like that I'm over here do it like this and the more you do it, the quicker you'll get and the better you'll get as well. So being able to move fast come with just the time. Over time, you'll get better. That's anything you do in life. You'll just improve. The more time you put in anything, you'll get better. Because a lot of people be asking me, man, what up? any advice you can give me? The only advice I can truly give you, man, is believe in yourself and put time into what you're doing. Like, really put the time in, put the work in. Because you cannot cheat the grind, you know what I'm saying? Let's see, make sure my, love, my lines closed, though. Make sure them lines closed. I like to double check, because sometimes I be having gaps open that I ain't know about. Okay. Now we're going to do this, the outer shape of the head. Let's go like to like a four. Okay. Oh, dang. I probably got mine. You see how, <clears throat> you see how when I did the outer shape of his head, the line just got corrected. If you don't want your lines to correct too much, all you gotta do is double click your brush and bring your smoothness down. So I'm gonna bring it to the center, see where that, give me more control. Because Adobe Illustrator, what it try to do, it try to help you correct your lines. So your lines will be smoother. Let's see. Okay. I'm gonna bring it down just a tad bit more. Just a tad bit more, man. And we're gonna zoom in. <clears throat> Probably just make little stopping points too. Like that. Oh, no, no, ooh. I seen all the imperfections. Look, go back to the center, man. I brought that down too low. The boy got the jittery hand. Okay. All right. You know what I'm saying? It's a cute. Keep working our way around like this. And if y'all like videos like this, man, y'all want to see more videos like this, all you got to do for me is hit that like button, comment, and sub, man. Hit post notification so you'll be notified every time you put y'all some heat. You feel me? <clears throat> Another thing, too. You like my music go ahead and follow my um music page on youtube as well it's chi world not you know what i'm saying the art the artist chi world one two three four and the music page is just chi world so go ahead and follow me because i'm telling y'all i've been working non-stop on music like like crazy man I ain't dropped it yet because I'm getting a lot of stuff mixed and mastered. You know what I'm saying? 
really take really finna take it serious so i promise you just like i showed y'all i was pretty talented with the art time to show y'all i'm very talented with the music as well so go ahead and follow your boy your feel okay let me see got us a nice little Got us a nice little line work going on. We almost finished. Let me um bring that to a, a brush size. That's pretty much all I do. I keep the same brush. And the brush I use is what come with the program. It's just me setting my pressure options. I don't I don't like use no like special brush. So it's just setting my pressure options. Okay, let's um Let's bring this head over. Make connect this line like that. And now we are finished. And you know what we gotta do right here. You gotta do the the chi world drippy neck. You know what I'm saying? I like to do <clears throat> as you notice I ain't do his like you know what I'm saying his little beard and his you know what I'm saying eyebrows and stuff like that right click the brush tool and go to your pencil tool make sure your settings on your pencil tool look at exactly like what you see right here okay hit okay you see this color black you want to hit this little arrow and sw switch it you want to move black to the top and make sure the bottom one is locked because what we're going to do we're going to use the pencil tool as a fill tool so what you do you create a path and it fills in the inner area you know what i'm saying so that's what i use to do all my quick coloring so right here like this this eye what we're going to do we're going to create a path and we're going to close it just like that. You feel me? And I'm gonna create a path right here. And we gonna <clears throat> we gonna close it like that. I like to take a step back a lot to see how how the progress is coming. All right, here what we gonna do? We gonna create. We ain't gonna go ahead like we drawing out the eyebrows so it can have that that texture see what I'm, see what I'm doing you know what I'm saying man <clears throat> then we're gonna do the same thing on this side I'm gonna draw it out give it some texture So when I'm making my cartoon heads, them are pretty much my go-to tools, the brush tool and the pencil tool. And that's pretty much all you need to be for real. That's all that's that's what I use the most. The pencil tool and the brush tool. Everything else is just you know what I'm saying? Just just just, just around and beat around. I mean, <clears throat> let's see. Let this come down a little bit. Okay. A little still white. Let's go ahead and draw the little fine heads like this. Bring this 
so like that. You know what I'm saying? Okay. You know what I'm saying? It's coming. <clears throat> coming together, man. Let's see. Gotta give me some water, bro, man. Mm. Bring this over. Same projects. Same process. I'm just uh creating a path and I'm going back. I'm filling that path in, you see what I'm saying? Okay. Okay. Go ahead and go right here. Okay. Like that. And then I'm going to stop it right there. We're going to go back to the brush tool. We're going to add these ourselves. Like that. Yeah, feel me. You see how that transition? You see how that transition over, man? Let's bring this a little closer, add some little finer hairs. Like this. So it'll just get an illusion that it was just full. Be like this. Also, Okay, I think we pretty much pretty much got an, a decent decent little line work. Man. So, okay, but then again, yeah, let me take that little line off right there. Okay, now your boy is finished with the line work. You know what I'm saying? So what we gonna do, we gonna, now this the part you really gotta pay attention because I get a lot of people inboxing me and they get stuck after they do the line work. So let's, I'm gonna go over it one more time. Look, after we did our line work, zoom around your picture and make sure you ain't got no openings because when you uh use the like it's like using the paint bucket tool like if you got any openings the paint uh just come on outside your picture and you don't want that so that's why i make sure my lines i go around my entire picture and i make sure i ain't got no little gaps you know what i'm saying make sure all that stuff is closed off Going around the entire picture, make sure we ain't got no little openings where paint can leave. Okay, we good. Let's check. Let's check the lips. Okay, the lips good. Now let's check the eyes. Okay, there's no little gaps that paint can leave. You know what I'm saying? So after you do that, you done checked your line work to make sure you ain't got no openings. You want to highlight everything. Go to object and then you want to hit expand appearance after you click that you see everything looking red and you see these lines looking like they individual lines what we finna do we finna make all our lines we created to make the line work become one so you want to go to your pathfinder and click merge so we can make all the lines become one now they just became one so now this is one big 
group. You know what I'm saying? We just grouped all the lines together as one. After I do that, I want to fit my my artwork on the page. So I'm going to highlight everything. I'm going to hold shift. And I'm going to bring it in some. You hold shift so you won't change or distort the picture where it's like, you know what I'm saying? You making it fatter or thinner. It'll, it'll stay the same. You know what I'm saying? It'll keep the same, uh, the same proportion. You know what I'm saying? Okay. After we do that, you want to make a copy of your line work. Lock the top copy. Make sure you select the second copy. <clears throat> and then we finna drop the, the, the base color. So what I'm finna do is I'm finna add my skin tone color. You know what I'm saying? And I will have that in the description below if you want to purchase my skin tones. And I'm finna show you how to import the skin tones if you do purchase it from me. All you got to do is hit this little book right here. Go to other library, and then just go to wherever you got it saved on your computer. So I got mine saved right here. And just hit Chi World Skin Tones. You double click it, and there you go. It'll just drop right in there. Drag it over here. Now I'm finna find a nice little base color to start out with. And I think I'm gonna use that color right there. I'm gonna go to my rectangle tool while I got that color selected. And we're gonna drag this entire color over the picture just like that. Now what you wanna do, you wanna right click the color, go to arrange and send to back because we're sending the color behind the line work. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And you'll know if you did that step right, if you look over here at your color, and you'll see your line work sitting on top of the color. Now what we finna do, we finna highlight everything together, and we gonna click merge. Because we want the color to become one with the line work. So I hit merge. After I click merge, I'm gonna right click the color, go to isolate, select group. So, any area that's closed off, that's one group that's isolated. So, we can click this outer color right here because it's isolated from everything else since we got it all separated by closing our lines off. And we're going to delete this outer color. I'm going to hold shift so I can select more than one area at a time. Then we're gonna change the color of his eyes. You know what I'm saying? This color palette will make it real easy for you too, man. Or you ain't gotta really spend too much time looking for some tones if you ain't good at finding colors. Unless I'm um, gonna make him a lip tone with his, find him a nice little. Got a lot of colors in here that can be used. Okay, cool. Use that for now. Okay, now that we got our base colors down, what I like to do, I like to make a copy of my color layer, lock the bottom co copy, and turn the eye off on the bottom copy. Select the copy in the in the center. Hit this little drop down arrow, hit it again, and I stroll down to my last black line. And I lock only the black line work inside of that layer. And keep the top two unlocked. Keep the top two unlocked and I close it back like that. So now what I'm finna do, I'm finna delete the skin tone out of this layer like so and I do that I lock the black line work so I don't make a mistake and delete the line work I only can delete the color since I don't lock the black lines so now I can just select this whole area 
and it won't touch my black line work. It'll only grab the color outside of the cracks. So I can delete that like that. You know what I'm saying? It's easier to work around your lines once you got them locked. You know what I'm saying? Okay, cool. Now we got that lock. We can bring, we can turn the eye back on on the bottom color layer. Lock um, the middle color layer that we just deleted the skin out of. So let's create us a new blank layer. Let's put it between the eyes and the lips. We're going to put it right between that. And the reason I do that, if you was wondering, dang, why you do all that? I do that so when I go to my pencil tool and I'm doing my shadows, it'll fall behind the eyes and the lips just like that. So I ain't got to worry about trying to draw around things. I can just draw right behind it. So what we finna do, we finna add some shadows. And this just take practice. I know a lot of people ask me, how do you get good at doing um, shadows? You just gotta practice, bro. Practice make perfect. So if you terrible at it, you, it, that just mean you need to just put more work at it. You know what I'm saying? Cause before you get good, you gotta start out being terrible. Then you gotta work your way to good. You know what I'm saying? Just like I did, I wasn't always good at doing sh shadows and stuff, but I just practiced until I, I got good at it. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm just drawing all my shadows with my, with my pencil tool. So we're just gonna draw it all, draw all our shadows. I'm looking at my reference. And wherever I see the shadows, that's why I place them. I don't try to overthink it. I'm just drawing exactly what I see. Let me see. Bring this like this. Bring this like this. Then we're going to bring this over. After we do that, and we just gonna keep this simple, man. We're gonna start getting more advanced on down the line, but I'm just trying to make make it simple for you guys to understand it. So we ain't gonna do too much on the shade and go too deep into it. I just wanna move slow so you have a time to follow along you know what I'm saying so this is the basic tutorial you feel me? let me see bring this up like this close that like that and then we gonna bring this like this, show the little vein in his head. You know what I'm saying? Now we gonna bring this. And that's why I like to make my outer line bow, like the whole trace of the cartoon head, like a very thick black line. So it'll be easier to not go outside the lines. You know what I'm saying? When I'm doing my shading. Okay. Bring it in like that. Let's bring this. Let's go ahead and add a little details. That's in the ear like this. And I've just been doing this for a long time, guys. So trust me, you can you can do the same thing too. You just gotta practice and put the work in, man.
I make it look easy, but it wasn't always easy. I'm gonna just tell you right now. It took a lot of work to, it take a lot of work to master anything. So you just gotta ask yourself, how bad do you want to get better at what you love to do? You know what I'm saying? So just practice. Anything you see me, me do, you can do it. You know what I'm saying? You can do better. You just gotta put the work in. You can't cheat the grind. You cheat the grind, you'll cheat, you'll cheat yourself out of a chance to shine you know what i'm saying so don't cheat the grind put the work in if you want to improve and get better you will if you want it it's just up to you it's a choice you can choose to get better or you can choose to not you know what i'm saying simple as that but yeah i'm gonna just try to keep this keep this simple we ain't gonna put too much Cause I was gonna do like different tones, like transitional tones, but we gonna keep this one simple. I might redraw this um, same picture later on for another video, and we're we gonna slowly get more advanced with the detail. You know what I'm saying? So this was just something simple for you guys to catch on. Let me see. Bring this like this. Bring this down. Bring it. And what I'm gonna do is, let's give him a, um, I'm gonna do a highlight. I'm gonna go to a highlight color. And this is where the light is reflecting off his face. Just pay attention to detail when you're doing um, your, your shadows and stuff like this. That's all I'm doing. I'm looking at my picture and I'm placing all the different tones exactly where I see them. There you have it, man. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm finna create a new layer that's right under the top line work. Let's put some shadows inside these eyes, man. Get these eyes and shadows, man. Like that. We don't want it to look too plain. Right there, like that, and another thing too, go to his lips, make sure that's the right color, no that's too dark, I don't think it was that, no, what I'm saying this color palette is pretty good man, to give you a lot of goddamn choices to choose from. You know what I'm saying? Until you, at least, till you learn how to, it'll give you a nice color to start with, where you can tweak it a little bit. But you know what I'm saying? It'll pretty much give you a foundation. Um, I'm gonna tweak this color a little bit. So go right here. Oh, let me click preview so I can see. I don't know why I like making all my colors with this little tool here. Okay. Yeah, I like that right there. Cool. Go back to my pencil tool. Mm -mm. That. You know what I'm 
what I'm saying? photo i'm gonna show y'all the picture as well i'm gonna put it up on the screen because on this picture i'm looking at like around his eyes is real dark you know what i'm saying so that's why i'm gonna go ahead and at least put a shadow on this side Something. And I need to tweak this color too because it got like a. I gotta expand, merge so I can make it all one. Okay, yeah, that's cool right there. That's perfect. Found it in my layers. I mean, in my uh, swatches, my color palette. You know what I'm saying? Something like that, man. It's a deep shadow right here. Just like that. Bring this up just a little more. I'm gonna put one right on his neck. And last but not least, we gotta put a dark shadow right here. Got to. Nice little simple cartoon head, man. Just like I said, if you're new to the channel, hit that like, comment, subscribe. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon. And I'm out of here. Dang.